Hi guys, some of you have uh, asked uh, from the other tutorial I did uh, how to get to the teal and orange look from, from scratch. It's not a look that, that I use uh, many times and only a bit of percentage every time that I apply the lot. But some of you, specifically this guy uh, in this comment, told me beyond poi this guy a great tutorial learn some useful information but a little bit disappointed when you apply the m31 lot to it although it's very very subtle as i thought maybe we could learn how to get the teal and orange look from scratch anyway very informative definitely okay i'm going to explain to you how to get to, to that look by yourself that is something that i prefer um, usually but uh, in that commercial i knew what kind of look I, I wanted to I dragged the M31 and I put I think it was only uh, 15 or 20 percent only a bit but anyway I'm going to show you how to analyze an image how to see what information what kind of information you have in the in the vector scope or the RGB parade uh, how to do that by yourself by analyzing the image um, so you are more free when doing changes by yourself. Okay, this was the original image from the GH5 vlog and in the previous tutorial we get to this point that was the the look of the final commercial. Okay, but now we're going to add another instance of color finale to apply the teal and orange. See the difference? So what we're going to do, I'm going to eliminate this. Okay. We have only the first, you know, grading that I did for the final commercial. And now we're going to apply another instance of color finale. I'm going to open controls and I'm going to apply the LUT, the N31 light. So you see what happens. You see by eye that the you know it's saturation of a LUT. Uh, it's kind of a Hulk film or, you know, Transformers. I don't like this for everything because, you know, it's so, so overused. But um, applying it, you can see the difference. You can see that your shadows tends towards green and blue, you know, that teal look. And your mid-tones go exaggeratedly towards orange. If you don't have your eye trained, uh, that's why I recommend to do this by yourself and to practice with, you know, reference pictures that you love and try to get to that look by yourself. You can see here, I'm always looking this to analyze. So you see that from the original, you have the shadows on zero, okay, more or less on zero the information, but if we apply the teal and orange look, you have the shadows raised. As you see, red are raised a bit, but the green and blue channel are more raised than the red one. So we're going to do that by ourselves. That way you can choose how much of it you want to apply. So let's, okay, let's erase this. And let's start with curves, for example. If you do this raising the shadows only with the Luma channel with the master curve, you are raising everything. We don't want that. We want to raise the red a little bit. Not so much. This much, not so much. I'm going to do it this fast way only to explain to you what is something that you could do with every lab that you want to do to train your eye and if you have the time do it by yourself in serious projects instead of dragging a specific lot that they are useful when you don't have time or budget is not so high but it's good to have your eye trained anyway so let's for example this you have the shadows you can accelerate you know as you want 
you can raise sorry you can raise green for example you can raise blue as far as you want to but let's do this to this point more or less okay blue and green are balanced here and red are under you know it's raised from zero but it's not at the level of, of these two channels okay so now we can even apply here a bit of red warmth to the mid-tones so the skin is you know is getting a bit warm and from here you can apply uh, uh, color wheels and to exaggerate this okay we're going to play with the mid-tones to our orange but as you see all the image starts to change so you have to compensate this movement and do the opposite thing not so much okay what I like to do too is because you know the highlights go to to red I like to compensate this adding blue and giving it a natural more natural feel than the M31 teal and orange look gives to you so now you have this difference saddle again okay this is without curves this is with curves and this is with color wheels but the, this look does is you know compress the tonality you know and eliminate some colors and we can do that by adding this hue versus hue we can do for example we can do that all this tonality go towards orange you see this is orange we want red going to orange these two even green and yellow going to orange again it's very subtle but that way you can do that and you can do that with the magenta and science and take that to our blue so you have everything in, in a more compressed range of colors here that is what this lot do to the image again it's very subtle but here you have the thing we can exaggerate this more orange more orange more orange more blue more teal more whatever but in the end it's all a matter of taste I think so if we apply now the LUT here the N31 and I take this off sorry and you only have the LUT this is the result and now let's see the result that we did check this out blah, blah, blah. we have this against this if you feel the light is different and goes more towards blue you can change continue changing things you can add you can start to play here to understand what is going on with the image and you can add more blue to the shadows See what happens to compare it with the original LUT. So this would be the N31 handmade applied. This without it. This way you can learn a lot uh, about how things are made. You know, 
you can be more specific if you want you can take for example the yellows because in the M31 the yellows tends to tend to orange so you can do this put yellows to the orangey side you see what happens you are compressing the tonal range and that's it I uh, hope you like it uh, if you like uh, the tutorials please subscribe to the channel see you soon